just tell me what you thought of Joe's performance coming back from the injury at Tech. Um, not not great. I mean, two interceptions and a fumble in the backfield. You got to throw the ball away. I mean, you can't do that. Um, thought he missed some guys, uh, but you got to give him a lot of credit, man. Uh, you know, probably came back earlier than he should. Um, tough kid. You know, football's important to him. His team's important to him. Um, but, you know, again, probably not the, the, the best effort. I mean, not the best performance, um, but he's a gutty player, gutty kid. Uh, we love him and, uh, you know, hopefully he'll, he'll play a little bit better next week. If you can, can you tell me how the process came about when you, for you to name him the starter today? Well, he's throwing pretty good during the week. Um, you know, Bo's not throwing it right now with the hand. I think his hand's bothering him. Um, but, uh, you know, he, he threw it pretty well. You, you can see he threw some high. You know, that was his problem uh, just because of the finger. Um, but, you know, he he's, uh, like I said, I mean, he wanted to play. Um, and man, he sucked it up and played. I just, you know, you, you can probably live with the interceptions, um, but you know, the one fumble there at the end there, um, you know, you, we can't have that. I mean, that ball's got to be tucked away. He's got to throw that thing away. He knows to do that. Um, but again, he, I'm sure he was trying to make a play. Um, and, and, uh, you know, the ball comes out, and, uh, you know, they, Go a little high tight end pass on us to score. I was listening to the broadcast when I came back to the office. Six turnovers. I said I was listening to the broadcast when I came back from shooting a couple of other games today. Six turnovers in today's game. Yet you were still in it uh, in the fourth quarter. Uh, if you can't just talk about you know the, the the issues with the turnovers today. Well, I think Aaron Dykes had two, and he's never – he doesn't fumble the ball. Uh, I guess he was going down on the one kickoff, and somebody just pulled it out. Um, and then the other one was uh, – you know, he – I don't I don't know how, because he was just kind of stumbling at the end. He had a 10-yard run and kind of stumbled, and the ball came out there. Wasn't like anybody ripped it out. I don't know what happened there, but you know, he doesn't fumble the ball. He's dependable. He's a hard runner. Um, you know, and then and then the other one, you know, um, Connor Devaney got pretty, hit pretty hard after a catch and fumbled it. Uh, I can't remember the third one, but or the fourth one. But mm -hmm. you know, we you got you got to hang on to football. You can't turn the ball over six times. Um, you know, if we just if we just punt the ball, we're good enough on defense that we can keep them in the game for the most part. Outside of the turnovers today, how did you think the offense looked given what you talked about, how you how you talked about the offense last week? How did it change in this game against Stony Brook minus the turnovers? Not great. Um, disappointing. Uh, you know, we scored two, you know, we, I think we got the one interception and got him down there and scored one and then, and then kind of went, I don't even know, 60 yards. You know, first half we were 0 for 6, third downs, three turnovers, get ourselves in a 20 nothing hole. Hard to come back. Uh, you know, we did about the same thing against Villanova, um, but that was only 13 nothing. Um, and again, we had a chance at the end there. And, and you know, I, I think the play call wasn't very good. Um, but you know, their corner made a good play and, and, uh, like I said, I probably would have second one, I probably would have ran it, but we didn't. What is the message you have given your team moving forward? You got New Hampshire on the road next Saturday. Well, we didn't even talk about next week. We just talked about how can we get our guys in better position to make plays, um, yeah, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta watch the film because sometimes, you know, sometimes you walk off and you think some things, um, you know, 
And but I don't, the one thing I do know, and the rest of it, I don't know. I don't know how well Joe played. You know, I don't know what happened to him. You really can't tell out here. All I know about Joe is he's gutty mm -hmm. and came back and played. Um, I do know one thing for sure. Our defensive line and linebackers, uh, you know, we can win big time with those guys. They need help. They need help. Uh, and um, on every other position, I think, has got to carry their weight like these guys do. Hey, Coach, before I let you go, do you think maybe offensively guys are pressing a little bit, trying to make that home run play uh, to try to, you know, kind of kickstart? the offense a little bit? Um, yeah, our, our whole team may be pressing, you know, coaches included. Uh, I think all of us probably, that's a good point. And, and I, I wouldn't say it's just the offense. I'd say everybody from, from me to the assistant coaches to the team, we all probably pressing. Um, and uh, just all of us aren't performing to the standard that we should, again, other than a couple groups there. Um, and, and I saw Kobe Turner walking out here, man. He's crying and you know, he, he played his, his heart out. I mean, he makes plays and, uh, and uh, it's important to him. It, you know, it's important to all our guys. I mean, there's nobody on this team uh, that, that it doesn't hurt when we lose a football game. They're great kids, hard workers. Um, we just, I think we got to figure out ways to, um, you know, to, to get it right.